happened to Muslim, they will react mm. accordingly. But if something happened to Christian, they will react accordingly. Mm. But if something happened to Hindus in India nowadays, mm. they are overreacting. Like it's more severe than terrorism. Like that. Mm. Because if something happened okay, to some okay, cow, okay. they are going to kill the person who is taking the cow in the lorry. Something like in UP, mm. some incidents. One person was killed because he, he has eaten cow, cow meat. Mm. Well, at least, like you say, people are discussing throughout India, but I travel throughout India. In the last months, where have I been? I was in uh, Udupi, then Bombay, then different places in Gujarat, and then Vrindavan, Delhi area, then here. And it's the first time anyone said anything to me about this. Maybe they're big names in, tam in Telugu, but, but uh, you know, why, why? Why should you take what a film actor says so seriously? Film actor is just a prostitute. Right. They're paid. They're, right. they're just a paid. They're paid to dance like a prostitute. That's all. Being asked, why is it that Hindus are becoming terrorists? For instance, they're killing people over the transportation of cows. Uh, when I was asked this, I said, really, it's such a big topic, and I was told that people are talking about all over India. Well, in the last few weeks, I've been in Udupi in Karnataka, then in Mumbai, then after that I was in various places in Gujarat, then after that I went to Vrindavan and Delhi area, and now I'm here in Bhimavaram in Andhra Pradesh. That's all in the last, what, six weeks, something like that? And uh, it's the first time anyone ever said anything to me about it. <coughs> and then I, so I asked, and I was told that there were some Telugu film stars are saying, oh, you know, why give so much? Tamil film stars are talking about it. Okay. And why give so much? Well, uh, people give so much importance to them. They're, they're basically people who are paid to jump around and smile and dance. And uh, film actors are not very important people, but people are stupid, so they take them to be important. Now, if you're talking about uh, this Gaurakshak Dal, or whatever, they're protecting cows. Well, first thing is, why are cows being killed in the first place? What kind of civilization is it that kill cows? You may say, well, America's supposed to be the number one country in the world, and they kill so many cows, so we should imitate them. But actually, India should be giving this, the spiritual knowledge by which people can live peacefully and without violence. To kill cows might be legal in America and other countries. And I believe in much of India, it's illegal. And even in the Constitution, it's there, I, so, so, so far as I know. But let's see, what are the laws of karma? The cow is just like our mother, is it not? She gives milk, she, she's very peaceful, she doesn't do any harm to us. Even her stool and urine are so so valuable, and then you kill her. What, what kind of a civilization is that? that you, you kill cows and have slaughterhouses. So I, I can give the solution to this uh, cow, what is it, cow protection. I, I, I can tell you quite easily how you can stop all this violence connected with the cow vigilance, vigilantes, that's the word. You just stop cow killing and then they won't react, that's all, right? Easy solution, but they won't do that because it's Kali Yoga and people think upside down, back to front, and they think that, see, they're con so, so concerned why they're, why they're killing humans and this and that, but why are you killing cows? Why? Why? Why are you killing any animals for eating them? God has given so, so nice fruit and, and vegetables and grains and milk by, from the cow, then why should we kill animals to eat them? It's a horrible civilization that thinks that animal killing is, uh, it's our right to kill animals and then we eat them and we don't know the laws of karma. Animals also feel pain. If we give pain to others, we'll get pain back. That's how the laws of karma work. People need religious education. Film stars and everyone, they all need actual spiritual education. I'm not talking about just learning some, something, for some dogma, but actually learning the scientific laws of nature. There is a law of karma. 
You ever heard that one? That there's an equal, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? So it, it works in the laws of karma also. People should learn this. So uh, it's Kali Yoga and there's violence. Vritta Hingsa is mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Vritta, meaningless, Hingsa, violence, that is a symptom of Kali Yoga. So we can expect more and more and more of disturbance in society. Uh, another symptom is uh, a dharmam dharmam iti uh, uh, manyate tamasa vrita. People are covered by the mode of ignorance, by darkness. They take dharma to be adharma and adharma to be dharma. So that's a symptom of Kali Yuga also. There's, what's the solution to all of this? That people are waving one flag and killing people with another flag and fighting with them and antagonistic. Purification of heart is required. Everyone is in very poor consciousness, thinking in terms of I, me, and mine. They can be purified by understanding that God, Krishna, is Suhridam Sarva Bhutanam. He's a friend of all living beings. So we shouldn't inflict pain on others. That purification will come by chanting the holy names of Krishna. There's no other way. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nastreva, 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 Gatiranyata. In this age of Kali, there is no other way, no other way, no other way but to chant the holy names of Hari, to chant the holy names of Hari, to chant the holy names of Hari. Otherwise, as long as someone's thinking, I'm a Hindu, this is my enemy, or I'm a Muslim, this is my enemy, this these are all temporary designations. Someone's born in a Hindu family and they think I'm a Hindu. Someone's born in a Muslim family and they think I'm a Muslim. In the next life they may swap. They may, Hindu may born in, be born in a Muslim family and a Muslim may be born in a Hindu family and they start fighting all over again from the other side. So we should understand we're only in these bodies temporarily. Human life is meant for God-realization. Uh, but for God-realization, that requires purification of consciousness. And killing of cows means there's no human civilization. They're just, they're just subhumans. People who are not very uh, advanced in consciousness or civilization, they may hunt some animals in the forest and eat them. But civilized man, he should have a higher consciousness. Not that he organizes slaughterhouses for killing animals. This is hellish simply hellish. Why should you inflict so much pain and violence unnecessarily? You should stop all this. So why, why are people saying Hindu terrorism? Well, anyone can say anything, but again, you should, you should understand who to hear from. Don't take film stars as any authority on anything. What do they know? They get... Eh, they get some prominence because they, they can entertain others. But they're, they're, to entertain others doesn't mean they know what is the actual truth, what is the actual fact. For that, you have to go to people who have dedicated their life for spiritual culture, who are deeply absorbed in God consciousness. Then you learn from such people. But nowadays, people don't even know what it is to learn anything about spiritual culture. Education for them just means you go to school, you, earn, you get a job, you earn money, and the real meaning of education is lost. Education means that one should uh, understand who I am. I'm an eternal spiritual living being. I'm not born when the body is born. I don't die when the body dies. Unless we understand these basic things, then we'll go on to it. It's like children talking. They don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and now there's a Hindu, Muslim, terrorism, this, that. What terror? They're, they're slaughtering the cows in the slaughterhouse. That's terrorism. And you're going to get a reaction, for sure. The, the reaction, for just you know, one or two people killing Goraksha, Dalal. There's huge wars. That's going to be the result. Thousands, millions of people killed. This is the result of sinful life. We should understand what is sinful. Nowadays, people, they don't even consider what is sinful. Previously in India, people would be very afraid to kill even an ant. Now they, uh, now here in this whole area, Bhimavaram used to be famous for rice. Still they're growing rice, but they're killing fish. 
They think it's very efficient to have fish farms, killing so many fish. Uh, then people become sinful. You should stop all this. Get spiritual knowledge. Understand. You don't, don't wantonly kill others. Anyone. Any, any living being. We have no right to. We can't give life, so we shouldn't take life. That goes for terrorists, whether you call them Hindu, Muslim, whatever. If you want to protect what you call Hindu Dharma, although there's no such term, Hindu Dharma in the Shastra, if you want to protect it, first of all, you should understand what it is yourself. Otherwise, if you simply designate others as our enemies without yourself cultivating, then what's the point? Just like you say, See, the Muslim children, they're, they're, they're all taught the Quran, right? In the madrasas. And the Christians, they go to their Sunday school, they teach the truth. And Hindus, how many Hindus can recite even one verse from Bhagavad Gita? Hardly. Not even one percent. So this Krishna conscious movement is meant for teaching people. What are the actual teachings of Bhagavad Gita and applying that in their lives? Hare Krishna.